Hello, my peepers. Welcome to Shaleen's Creativity Room. It is Saturday, September 10th. What's going on today? Okay, September 10th. We have no birthday. Let's see. What's the wisdom quote? You can discard most of the junk that clutters your mind. Things that exist only there and clear out space for yourself by Marcus Aurelius. You can discard most of the junk that clutters your mind things that exist only there and clear out space for yourself. Marcus A-U-R-E-L-I-U-S Okay. Word of the day. Word, word, word of the day. Word, 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 word of the day. Today's word is obliterate. Obliterate. It is a verb to remove from existence, to destroy utterly all trace, indication, or significance of. To remove from existence. To destroy utterly all trace, indication, or significance. Of. There we go. This has, this made a mess inside. Look at that. Yeah, the whole inside of that is a mess. Making, cleaning up my pen. It's like it exploded in there. Okay. Back on. Yeah, 
yucky. Well, they didn't get any on me, so that's a good thing. Hello? That's a good thing. Okay, here we go. Catch all. I'm going to do, let's see. I'm going to write up there that it's the readathon weekend. I'm going to go get water. Okay. Um, hold on. Okay, um, the weather for today, today is also 82, a mix of clouds and sun during the morning will give way to cloudy skies this afternoon. We're going to go with cloudy, humidity 54%. We're going to go with cloudy. It is sunny right now. Okay. Cloudy. And we use this color today. Got to put this in here. Okay, what national day is it? Let's go with National Swap Ideas Day. Okay. My my crafty planner so I put in two and a half hours of stitching I know that was it I don't know why I'm not getting them more I stitched on Mirabilia Giggles in the Snow while listening to a book that's I don't understand why that's all that is actual stitching. 
Although twice I did go and read in the old cross-stitch room, because back then it was just cross-stitch, no other crafts, and I sat in the recliner reading while um, giving attention to Dylan's cats that are still here. So, yeah, that's what I did, and I plan on stitching on that again today. Okay. Reading. I'm doing really good. So, you know, I finished Court of the Vampire Queen by Katie Robert. Oh, my God. I thought the way it was going, I thought it was going to be a series, but she wrapped it up really well, and it was such a good book. I gave it five stars. Then I started and finished The Road to Christmas by Sheila Roberts. This one doesn't come out until September 20th, but Court of the Vampire Queen is already out. My review is up on my blog and Goodreads. The review for the for Start the Road to Christmas, that one is my reviews up on Goodreads, and um, it will be on my blog on September 20th. I have it scheduled. So good. There is a family. Though, so there is. A couple whose son is Max and the daughter-in-law is Michelle. They, so I believe Warren and Hazel are in their 70s. Max and Michelle are in their 50s. And Max, Max is an only child. But Max and Michelle have three daughters. One lives in Idaho, so she would like them all to be there for Christmas. Now, I can't remember where Max and Michelle live, but their marriage is done. They have already discussed divorce, but they're going to wait and tell the girls after Christmas. The girls and Max's parents already know that something's going on and they don't think their marriage is going to last. So anyways, they're all on this road trip to go to Julia's house and Michelle has a lot of resentment to Max and so that car ride is not good. Hazel and Warren, because they're in their 70s, Hazel hates going anywhere in the snow and of course they're running into snow. Julia lives in Idaho, I don't know if I mentioned that. And Hazel and Warren are the closest to them, so they're driving separate. And then Warren realizes he forgot his heart medicine, which is not a good thing. Julia's two sisters are on their way from California, and the one sister thinks she's going to be engaged soon. The other sister had a relationship that ended and she thought she was going to spend the rest of her life with this guy. She followed him to California and got the job there and then found out he was a loser. So, you know, they run into problems on the road as well. So all three of these couples, well, the two sisters and the other two couples are on their way to their sisters and they both run into problems where they have to stay longer wherever they are traveling. I loved it. I gave it five stars. Loved the family in it. Yeah. Very good. So today I will be starting Captive, which is book number 2019 of the Eve Duncan series by Iris Johansson. So I'm going to be starting that. And that Court of the Vampire Queen. Holy moly. <coughs> yeah, that book. Very erotic. It was very good, though. Okay, how did I do yesterday? I did the dishes and I vacuumed. <coughs> that was the extent of that. I cross-stitched giggles in the snow, read Court of the Vampire Queen, um, listened to Pop Rocks on Sirius XM, so I cross-stitched in the red. Let's see today. Whoops, I got two of them together. Uh, 
Okay, today is Saturday. Saturday. Okay. So I keep forgetting to order more of this. I just ordered copy paper because I'm like almost out. I only have a few sheets left. So I need, or printer paper I should say. So I had to order some off of Amazon. Yes, yes, yes. Here's that. Okay. Look at this. I do believe it's another it's an it's time for another adventure. The world is too big to stay in one place. <coughs> Got to eat pretzels on the way to your adventure and vacation essentials so you know I always say reading is takes you away on an adventure and so let's do this Do that. Okay, so we're doing dishes. Hall dust first, and then Halloween decorations. Maybe I'll start laundry also. Okay, cross stitch. Giggles in the snow. Um, <clears throat> the book is captive. <coughs> Serious XM. We are going to do. Well, someone said this is a good one to listen to. It's the TikTok. So it's all the music that you hear on TikTok. Um, hmm. I do want to watch the Hallmark movie tonight, so I don't have to watch it on Monday. If I get my book done. Let's see. So the Hallmark movie tonight is... Hold on. Uh, 
merry-go-round. And there, that's what we have today. Okay. <clears throat> merry-go-round. Okay, that's it for today, my peepers. I hope that you have a great day. You accomplish whatever you want to accomplish. Yes, I know. Look at my nails are horrible. I do have an appointment Wednesday. I called yesterday to make my appointment with my, my salon person because she does my eyebrows, my hair, and my nails, and she no longer works there. She now works at the school, so I'm thinking she wanted to, like, have this be working when the kids, her kids are in school. It works better for her. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, I gotta have one of the other people in there take over. Okay, that's it for today. I love you guys. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.